the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 24, and it reads, Woe to them that sin, and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world only calls God, Yahweh, meaning he exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahushai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ. Yahushai, meaning he delivers. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. The belonger to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach one rule well, who taught me this truth in its entirety. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath, the Akwathium, listening and learning in sincerity and the truth and in silence, Shalom. Akyam, meaning brothers, Akwathium, meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. We'll get right into it. You know what I mean? Second Ezra 15 verse 24 and it reads, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. Right, and who's under the law? Israelites. Israel being a people for a place. So-called indigenous, so-called Latino, so-called Negro. Speck of bird, those that look like the other nations, but their their spirit goes back to Abraham, my Abraham, Isaac, or Jacob through their fathers. Right? The sinners that keep not my commandments. Right? Woe to them. Woe means destruction. That sin and keep not my commandments. The law, statute, commandments were given to the Israelites. Right? Psalms 147 verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word. Who's the he? Yahweh. Right? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He showeth his word unto Jacob, Yasharala, he prince power. Yah he Shar Prince Allah power. Children of Israel, right? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, right? You Edomites, you Elamites, you Ishmaelites, right? You Ammonites, you Moabites. The Most High is only dealing with the children of Israel. We could close the book right now. Right? He hath not he hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them, right? Because the Israelites are under the law. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Right? Let's go back to the scripture. Second Ezra 15, verse 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. Right? You two thirds out there. Right? Scripture here, scripture here is saying, Woe to you. Right? And granted, we can't keep all the commandments perfectly. But the ones we can keep, we keep. Right? To the best of our ability, man. Right? What does it say in Romans? Romans 6. This is for you wacky-tacky Christians. Romans 6, verse 1. The title here says, Believers are dead to sin, alive to the Most High. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may, may abound? Right? So that just kills the whole, the laws are done away with, brother. Right? Let's read this in the NLT. So the ones you can keep, you keep. Because the Most High is about to visit this place. NLT. Well then, should we keep on sinning so that the Most High can show us more and more of His wonderful grace? Right? No. What's the next line say? Romans 6 verse 2. The Most High forbid. Right? That means no. How shall we that are dead to sin live, live any longer therein? Right? So, you come into this truth. Right? You realize these laws are for you. You can't continue on being the old man. You got to keep the ones you can keep to the best of your ability. Because we know we're in Babylon's kingdom. Ba Babylon's queendom. We know we're, we, we know we're in Rome 2.0. And there's going to be things within Esau's law structure. Which prevents us. From, do, from, from keeping certain laws. We know that sometimes we're going to have to work on the Sabbath. Because we got to punch Esau's clock. We know sometimes we're going to be on the public transit. 
and and we're, we're gonna sit in the seat that that uh that uh a woman on her monthly just got up out of right you can't put your wife away when she's on her monthly these are things you know that's where grace comes in right you sure as hell no you're not going you sure as hell no one you come into this truth you're not going to be eating shellfish or pork or lining up your beards and you're going to be keeping the sabbath to the best of your ability verse 25 i will not spare them right the most is not going to spare you 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 two-thirds go your way ye children from the power defile not my sanctuary right the most high, he's not going to show no mercy verse 26 for the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, right? And the, no, the Lord knows you can't hide. Sin's done in the dark. Right? Scriptures say that the, the Lord's eyes are ten times brighter. Ten times brighter than the sun. Let's see if we can find that in the Apocrypha. That's a precept I was meditating on, you know? All praise, all power, all glory to Yah, by Shimei Shai. In the Apocrypha, Sirach 23, also known as Ecclesiasticus, verse 19, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. Here's the point. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts, right? And how does the Lord see all these things? The Lord's angels are everywhere, man. Reporting to and fro. Second Ezra 15 verse. Verse 26. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Right? Destruction is coming for two-thirds unless you repent. Verse 27, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, right? These plagues are coming upon the whole earth. What kind of plagues? Famine, sword, death, destruction, pestilence. Right? Right now you're just seeing the the, the right now you're just seeing the 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 uh the, the the contractions of a woman about to give birth, right? And they're getting sharper and sharper. Right? And ye shall remain in them, right? You're gonna stay in these plagues. For the Most High shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him, right? The Most High is not going to deliver you two thirds, man. Right? Right? Job 19 and 7. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. Job 19. No, I didn't want this one yet. I want, um,. Job 19. Right. Job 19 and 29. And it reads. Be ye afraid of the sword. Right. The sword that's coming. Be ye afraid. For wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword. Whose wrath? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That ye may know there is a judgment. Right. The judgment is coming. What are the prophets doing? Crying aloud, spare not. Letting you know judgment is coming. Right. Jeremiah 28. Jeremiah 28 and 8. Staple scripture. Jeremiah 28 verse 8. And it reads. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Prophesied both against many countries. Right. The prophets of old prophesied against many countries. The prophets before Jeremiah. The prophets after Jeremiah. They prophesied against many countries. Of what? And against kingdoms. Of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? Not coming with some nice guy, uh, prosperity, everything's going to be nice, just pray. Right? The prophets told you war, evil, and pestilence is coming. Right? And this is what's coming. Right? And why? Because judgment is no longer going forth. It's nothing but wickedness out here. Habakkuk 3. Habakkuk 3 verse 2 and it reads, O Lord Yahweh, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Right, us in this truth, we're afraid, man. We read these prophecies, we filter everything through scriptures. We're afraid. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hand of living power. O Lord Yahweh, 
Revive thy work in the midst of the years, right? Show yourself, Lord. Make known, right? In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy, right? We pray we are under that mark of exemption in those days, man. Because of the wrath that the Lord's coming with, man. The visitation that is coming. It's not going to be pretty, man. Repent. Two thirds of our people out there. Psalm 58, verse 10. And it reads The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance, right? The, two, the, the, the one third, the one four four and the one third are going to be rejoicing in that day. When they, when, when they come up hither and you get drawn up into the chariots, they'll be rejoicing in that day when they see the, when they see the vengeance, when they see the lake of fire from, 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 from the chariots. Revelation 15, verse 1 and 2. Right, when they see the fire mingle with the glass, a sea of glass, roughly paraphrasing, the righteous will be rejoicing. Right? He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Verse 11. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Right? Those that, those that suffered, those that, 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 that held, first, held fast and suffered, pa suffered patiently. Those that stood stiffly for the names of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai. There's a reward, man. Right? Verily there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, verily means truthfully. He is a power that judges in the earth. Right? And the Most High is coming to lay down some. Right? You're going to see death in abundance. Habakkuk 1 verse 4. Right? Mass death, group deaths. Every day there's more, um, there's more, uh, more reports and news reports of, of people dropping out, man. People dead and out. Habakkuk 1 verse 4. Therefore the law is slacked and judgment doth never go forth. Right. In this place, the, the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh, Shem, El Shai are not being, are not being, uh, 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 they're, they're not being honored. They're not being executed. Right. This is Esau's queendom, man. Right. Alphabet boy lifestyle. Adultery. Idolatry. False God worship. Right? Woman over men. Habakkuk 1 and 4. Therefore the law is slacked. What does it mean by slacked? Slack. Therefore the law is slacked. Strong G. Strong's H6313. Strong's H, 6313, Poog, Poog, Gusenius Lexicon, Poog, Poog, Second Entry, Puga, Puga, Third Entry, right. Poog, To go numb, be feeble, be, to be benumbed, to be feeble, right? To be sluggish, to cease, right? And that's the state of this world. That's the state of this queendom, right? Therefore, the law is slacked and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth come pass about the righteous, right? It's wickedness. Proverbs 29 and 2 says, when the, when the righteous are, when the righteous in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn, roughly paraphrasing, Right? For the wicked doth compass, compass, surround, about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth, NLT. The laws become paralyzed, and there is no justice in the courts. The wicked far outnumber the righteous, so that justice, so that justice has become perverted, right? It's perverted judgment out here, man. Nothing, nothing is being judged in righteousness. That's why the Lord is going to purge this place with fire. Job 19. Job 19 verse 7. It says here everything is against him. Behold I cry out of wrong. Who's crying out of wrong? Who's sighing and crying? The elect. Lord willing we are of that number. Right? But, but I am not heard. I cry aloud but there is no judgment. Right? There's nothing but wickedness man. No judgment going forth. Right, that's why we need Yahweh Shai. Psalms 119. 
Psalms 119 verse 126. Psalms 119 verse 126 and it reads, It is time for thee, Lord Yahweh, to work. Right? And how is the Lord going to work? He's going to judge this place. Thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. In tandem with the laser beams from the chariots. What the world immediately calls UFOs. Right? It is time for thee, Lord Yahweh, to work. Right? And lead up, leading up into that. Famines, deaths, plagues, pestilence, Gerga troops, FEMA camps, detention centers, ravishing of households. Right? Uh, Sirach 39 says there are spirits created for vengeance, man. This is the Lord's work. Right? For they have made void, void meaning empty, thy law, right? These, these Idumians, the wicked, right? That's why the Lord is going to, going to do his work. Burn this place with fire. Stay prayed up, prayed out ceasing. I pray edified. I don't want to Shalom to the hopeful elect.